Hey guys, Ramblin' Bob here again. I want to show you my favorite heater I've ever owned. The Lasko My Heat. See how tiny it is? Look at how small that is. That's like six inches tall, my maybe four inches wide, and maybe about four inches deep. This is a 200 watt personal heater. It's a ceramic heater. This will be absolutely perfect for at the office or camping. Let me show you how. Let's plug this guy in here. Let's get a little bit of reading. Let's plug this in here. Let's put it on, oh, let's put it on wattage. Where is it? There it is, okay. So now that's going up. We're gonna show you how hot this little thing gets. Can you believe that 250 degree air can come out of here? That's crazy. So what we use this for. Okay, if you're at work, everyone knows that the, the electricity is limited in, in uh, uh, work areas, like especially the cubicles. You know, if you're in an office setting and, uh, and you're always chilly because, you know, you have 50 to 100 to 200 people in the same building, nobody's going to be comfortable because everybody has different bodies and different temperatures and different, uh, like, like comfort zones, you know what I mean? It's just everybody's different. So this is where you could even up the game. Uh, not a cooler, but it's a heater. So if you're chilly one day, see, see the power it's running? 176 watts. It's rated at 200, but you know, you never really get what they put on the box usually. But let's say it's 180 watts. If you're in an office building and they're you know short on power, because a lot of office buildings don't have enough power to run around because they have so much stuff. They have fax machines and computers and this and that and all, all these machines. You know, just a Xerox machine takes a ton of power. You know those big standalone ones? People are, are really shocked when I explain to them how much power that those big you know machines, because you have all the, the gears and the belts and the pulleys and, and the scanners and the lights. And there's a lot going on in those big Xerox machines. So. Uh, some of them can use as much as a, a refrigerator just to just to make your copies, you know, so let's test the heat out All right, and then I'll tell you what I use this guy for. Let's see if I can get it in there Okay, it's up to two two twenty So as it's still warming up, we got 220 degree air man I'll take that any day you can feel this all the way across the table now where else would this come in handy check this out Camping, fishing, and hunting, guaranteed. You don't need a huge, like a solar generator or a power box to run this. If you had a small one, like I have one that's about uh, 640 uh, watt hours, 550 real watt hours. So what you could do is you could run that 550 watt hours divided by 180, which is about three hours. So imagine if you were fishing and you set your power box next to you on the ground and then you put this underneath your coat. Hear me out. You lift up your coat and you hold this so the air can shoot up inside your coat, almost like a hot air balloon. I guarantee you after five minutes of that, you will not want to get up to catch that fish <laughs> unless you're super hungry because it will be so nice and toasty and warm inside your coat, man. There's been so many fishing trips that we've used this on, uh, camping trips. Here's, here's another little tidbit um, inside your sleeping bag. So obviously you don't want to put it in there when you're not there, of course, that's a fire hazard. But if you're in there and if you hold your sleeping bag up like a tent, like the shape of a tent, okay, you hold this in there with you and turn it on for about five minutes and then when it gets warm enough in your tent, you turn, or your, your sorry, your tent, your sleeping bag tent, you turn this off and set it outside of your sleeping blanket. You don't need it anymore. That heat will stay in your bag for a, at least an hour. It's really nice. And that's a heck of a lot of temperature when you're out there in 10, 20 degree weather, uh, you know, waiting for a deer to show up or waiting for a fish to bite or, you know, whatever you're doing out there. All right, let's do a test again. Let's see. See how it's going up? So we got 230 watts. That's a ton of heat out of a small box. Now this is the best part. See this? Notice what's missing? The ow sound. There's no heat on the side of this box. Look at the temperature while it's running. 76 degrees. I'll do the, I'll do the top too because heat rises, right? 77.8 degrees. I can literally put my hand this close to this and there. So 
the neat thing about this is it's really hard for something this small to start a fire not that it's not capable but it's much much more uh, tame you know than bringing in a big space heater or something with a flame you know I have that mr. heater and I love it but something like this for a personal space if you just want your area or your desk or here's a really good one underneath your desk at work nobody can hear it here's the sound see how quiet that is under your desk nobody can even hear it so you can literally sit at work put this underneath your desk and it will warm up the entire three by three by three foot uh, area of your desk it's about nine square feet ish under there give or take on an average desk this can warm that area up really nice which means your legs and your waist is really comfortable and then the heat kind of as he does it rolls out from underneath the desk and comes up into your your chest and, and your face and then your arms so the really nice thing is you're creating almost like um, almost like a little baby sauna underneath your desk that nobody knows about so while they're freezing at work and they're cold and you always hear them is it chilly you know how many times do you hear that at work is it chilly in here you won't be chilly with one of these they're not much we bought six of these no joke every single person in our family had to have their own different one they make well they used to make a bunch of different colors I think it was four or five or six but we got every different one we could and a couple of the black ones this is the first original model this is the my heat 100 they do have the 101 the 102 the 103 the 104 the 105 and the 106 yep six models we own all of them as far as the white one the purple one the blue one the black one and I think there's another color that I'm missing I cannot remember my, uh, my wife loves the purple one <laughs> so everybody has a favorite when it comes to this but here's the crazy thing you could take all six of those heaters and put them on one outlet one outlet and you won't pop that fuse nice huh that's under 1200 watts everyone has their own heater nobody fights over it you got about a six foot cable so everyone can sit you know not uh, all bunched up on each other and now uh, you can enjoy your own personal space heat this is I have other heaters by Lasco this is a very very good company for heaters I have uh, you know those big radiator ones that they make fantastic but it's too big to carry with you this you can throw right in your briefcase or your bag or whatever you're carrying all right let's do a temp tech check in the temp here 231 okay 236.9 I've seen it get as high as 250 degrees inside that little box like that. I guess that all depends on where you aim it, of course. Well, I'll take that. I'll take 236 all day. 227, 232, 235. It all, all depends on, obviously, the air that's going in the back because that helps cool down that ceramic block in there and that heating element. All right. This is my review of the Lasco My Heat. If you don't have one of these or have heard of anything about these little tiny things, I strongly recommend that you either try one or pick one up. I'm going to put a link in the description to Amazon. If you guys want to test it, feel free. Um, I have six of them, like I said. Every color they make except one. I'm missing one. But they discontinued, uh, I think, yeah, they discontinued two of the colors. So. I'm on the hunt for that last color, guys, so I can have the entire collection. It's like Pokemon cars, except last go my heat. All right, guys, stay warm out there and use these little tips to stay warm while you're fishing, hunting, or camping, or uh, even in the RV. You know, you stretch them two ways. Your wife has one. You got one. Nobody argues about the heat. All right, I'll see you again. Safe travels on Rambling Bob Reviews.